Hi everyone, my name is Julie and today we're back to Baltics. We've seen Latvian before and today we're looking at another language of this region, Estonian. These two languages might be neighbors, but they couldn't be more different. Tere, and welcome to the Estonian language. Estonian is the second smallest national language in the world. The first one is Icelandic. It is spoken by around 1.1 million people and it is the national language of Estonia, one of the three Baltic states that are located in the Northeast Europe. The other two Baltic states, Latvia and Lithuania, have their national languages that are from the Baltic branch of the Indo-European language family. But with Estonian, it is a completely different story. So let's discuss that. First of all, Estonian is not an Indo-European language and it is not related to almost any other European language except of Finnish, Hungarian or other smaller Northern European languages. These languages, in fact, are members of the Finno-Ugric branch of a larger Uralic family, which is spread all across Northern Eurasia. It is named like that because the birthplace of this language family is considered to be Southern Ural Mountains. Around 3500 BC, the Uralic language started to disintegrate into subgroups with Finno-Ugric people group traveling west and arriving to the Baltic region around 2500 BC and stayed there, evolving progressively into modern languages. The name IST is found in the Roman Chronicles. But this was the name of some Baltic tribes that used to live nearby. When Germans arrived to the region, they used to call Estonians by this name, and it stayed this way. The ancient Estonians, however, used to call themselves Maarahvas, or the land people, and their language Maakel. From the 13th century until the beginning of the 20th century, the territory of Estonia was under a foreign rule, first of Germans, then of Russians. When Estonia became an independent state, Estonian became its national language. By that time, two main dialects developed. Northern, with its capital in Tallinn, and Southern, with its capital in Tartu. The modern Estonian is based on the Northern dialect. And now we're going to explore the standard Estonian in this video, starting with pronunciation. As with all Baltic languages, Estonian uses the Latin script. The Estonian alphabet has 27 letters, and these four are the so-called foreign letters that are used only in foreign loanwords or names. The remaining Latin letters can also be used for foreign names. From the native Estonian sounds, the most unusual for English speakers could be these four vowels that are pronounced as ö, ä, ö and ü. And the difference between these two is that ö is pronounced from your throat, but the sound ö is pronounced from the front part of your mouth. Vowels do have a special place in the Estonian language. As you can see, there are nine of them, plus 36 diphthongs, or vowel combinations. If you try hard enough, you could even make a long word consisting only of vowels. For example, this one that I'm not even gonna try to pronounce. And yeah, the meaning doesn't make sense that much, but it's just to illustrate that these things are possible. Another special thing about the Estonian pronunciation is the sound length. Both vowels or consonants can be either short, long or super long. And the length of sound can change the meaning, like in the word koli, junk, koli, of school and koli, to school. And you see that the long and super long versions do not differ in writing. So you have to know where to use which depending on the context. So now let's hear how all these things actually sound. Kahjuks olen väga harva jõudnud, äh, eriti viimase aasta jooksul. Üline umbes, et jõuludel olin kaks päeva ja siis sattusin märtsi lõpus. Ma lihtsalt noh, olen praegu väga valmis, et sa tahad mingit nalja ei mõtlemata. Ei, ei noh, ma võib-olla tütteks ka, et siis et sisu on jah põhiline. Et... So yeah, in my opinion, the abundance of vowels, 55% of Estonian words, and these different long sounds make for a rather melodic language. But now, on to serious stuff, the grammar. Estonian, like most of the Uralic languages, is agglutinative, with some elements of fusion. What does it all mean? In an agglutinative language, you make complex words by adding morphemes without changing these morphemes. 
In a fusional language, you would change the morphemes depending on the gender of person. So Estonian has both of these things. As in many agglutinative languages, in Estonian you can make unreasonably long words. There is a joke that Estonian has no sex and no future. While, of course, the country's birth rate is pretty low, but this actually tells that in Estonian there is no gender and no future tense. To express future, they just use the present tense. There are also no article or prepositions because all the information you need is added at the end of the word or coded in the cases. And about the cases, in Estonian there are 14 of them. Of course, it's a bit better than Finnish with 16 or Hungarian with 18. But still, and what adds complexity is that in Estonian these change with the plural tense, but not in Finnish or Hungarian. So mastering Estonian grammar would definitely take some mental effort. But how about its vocabulary? You would think that a country surrounded by various people groups and being under a foreign rule for so long would have a great amount of loan words. And you wouldn't be wrong. This is a cool pie chart from Wikipedia that shows word origins in Estonian. We can see that around a half is native Estonian, around one third is Germanic, mostly words relating to agriculture, technology, politics like kuld, gold, or kuningas, king. Also some Baltic and Slavic loanwords from the neighbors like Kanep, Hemp or Aken, Window. Now this one, artificial, is interesting. So what happened is that in the end of the 19th century, during the Estonian National Awakening movement, there was a need for Estonian to become a literary language. One of the most famous actors of this period is Johannes Aavik. He believed that in order to survive, the Estonian had to develop new vocabulary that was missing. The work of his life was researching on different languages and creating new words for Estonian that are based either on Estonian dialects or Finnish or other foreign languages. Sometimes he even created words just from his head that had no other relation to any other language. And you too can have fun creating brand new Estonian words, as it is definitely going to be fun and challenging time learning Estonian. Except if you're not a Finnish native speaker. Then it should be rather straightforward. Hit the like button and comment if you enjoyed the video. If you love languages as much as I do, then definitely subscribe. Of course, if you would like to support this channel, and I would definitely encourage you to do so, here's the link to my Patreon. And of course, a big thank you to my current patrons. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!